when we're talking about thinking fast, what are we talking about? So like those immediate, I guess, either perceptions or things you can do almost automatically. Like quickly, everybody, what's two plus two? Four. Four. What's three times six? 18. What's four minus one? Three. Thank God you're staying in elementary. <laughs> what's forty? What's forty-nine times sixty-seven? Forty-nine times sixty-seven. Give me a moment. I can get it. <laughs> not, we're already not doing fast <laughs> thinking anymore. Darn it. I'm doing twenty-one. Yes. Yeah, because I do have to have multiple processes start to go in. I start to. I, I take the the numbers and I. There's a way I do that so that I can get them done pretty quick. But. If you can't do it automatically, then it's probably not an example of fast thinking. That was an example of slow thinking. So that's a quick way to show the difference between fast and slow thinking. But what I guess we need a more better or definite definition of fast thinking. Uh, so fast thinking is fast and emotional thinking. It's also what people might refer to it sort of as the, the reptilian brain, um, possibly. I think some think of it that way. Um, it's definitely not frontal cortex thinking. Um, it is that sort of um, where it's that, that quick, instinctual, reactionary. reactionary thought processes that happen. That's the quick thinking. And, and um, a lot of times I think that it gets a bad rap, right? Like um, people go, well, you put a lot of weight in being able to have those logical thought processes, but there is a reason that this part of our brain works and there's a reason it works so quickly. Um, it's because it's operated to keep us alive uh, for yeah. very, I mean, the reason that we are able to be uh, living, breathing, eating human beings is we have to give a great deal of of um, credit to this this system one fast thinking process. Um, and so I, I that can think of uh, an example as you were speaking there. It came to me um, when I was in, on the four hundred five in California, the four hundred five driving home. Um, so for going north on the four hundred five, the. Uh, two crazy motorcyclists drove past us going really no, no, being young and dumb in that sense. Total judgment at the case y'all would know what they They were weaving, they were popping wheelies on the highway. They were just not being very smart about this. They passed and, and for the good news for them it wasn't a normal 405 freeway, meaning it's normally jam-packed on that 405. And and the cars, while busy, not nearly as busy. Um, they clipped somebody's car, they flipped in the air, and while the, the fast thinking piece is where I'm running towards, is everybody on the highway stopped. Everybody could have that quick thinking that it was all in sync between all of us to stop on a dime on the 405 freeway. So I thought that was an interesting piece of that fast thinking piece that you were describing where it was just a reactionary thing. We all slowed down, we stopped and nobody, you know, while the, the, I'm sure <laughs> the speed they were going and the flip they did, their body was in pain. <laughs> they didn't have to go through additional trauma because all of the quick thinking that everyone who was driving participated with, it was kind of like, it was just really interesting how that all came together. Uh, you know, what's interesting is that fast thinking is probably what led to the accident as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's, it is that sort of uh, instinctual, I, I mean, I think even our auto and autonomic processes um, might fall into this as well, but um, those ones we really don't think about unless you try, like blinking. <laughs> um, uh, although I did know somebody that didn't have the ability to, like, they had to consciously think, think of blinking. It wasn't built into their autonomic processes, and it was interesting. He had um, always had dry eyes. <laughs> um, 